Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In our previous video, we discussed how to add the screenshot in our report. Today, we are going to learn how to generate the report when we are going to run out a script in parallel. I'm just going to copy the code from our previous configuration file to run in parallel. So this is the code I'm just going to copy and paste in my configuration here. And within the specs, we have to add another file as well. So here I will say like, if you see here within this learned reports, we do not have any uh, folder called Allure reports so or, or Allure results. So when I try to run this, it's going to generate this and both the test case should run in parallel. I mean sequential one by one, right? So I'm going to open up my terminal and within that, of course, I have to navigate to the folder first. So learned reports and then followed by protector and then followed by the file name. And here we can see that it brings two browsers at the same time where one is running the input spec and another one is running my button spec. Okay. So here we can see that this is our interact with inputs and this is our interact with buttons. Now if I open this folder in the explorer, here we can see that we have a folder called Allure result and then I'm just going to bring up my command prompt here and I will say Allure so. And that's going to bring up some temporary HTML file and that is going to be in this particular local host. And here if I click on this show all, here we can see that we are able to get both the inputs and we have to click on this order to see in the execution order. And both the inputs we can see that, uh, I mean both the result we can see that it comes along with the screenshot as well, right? So this is fine, perfectly fine. But the problem is when we are going to run the same test script, in multiple browsers. So when we are trying to do the cross browser testing, then it's going to be a problem. Let us understand the problem and let us see how to fix it. So I'm just going to close this and I'm going to delete this folder as well. And if I go back to my configuration file, of course to run in parallel, we have to do some changes. So I'm just going to copy the code from our previous video. So this is multi capabilities. I'm going to copy this and replace here. And I'm just going to have one spec at a time, so input spec. Now if I open up my terminal and if I try to run this, let's see what happens. So here you can see that our test script is running in the Firefox as well as in the Chrome. And you can see that it's executed successfully for the interact with the inputs for the Chrome as well as for the Firefox. Now, if I go back to my folder, this folder, and here we can see that within the Salure results, we got two XML files. That means, of course, we have two reports. But if I try to generate this report now, Here we can see that we are able to get only one uh, spec file that is in track with inputs and of course we got the screenshot and everything but we know that we executed two test cases and we expected two result to appear but we are getting one result. The reason behind this is if I go back to my XML file within this Allure result here we can see that we got two test suites but within this both the has the same both the file has the same um, title. So here you can see that the first file says that interact with inputs and similarly if I open the another XML file here also we can see that it is also interact with inputs. Now if I just in case if I change the name and the title of this page or this XML file and then if I try to generate the report now let us just go back and open the command prompt here and alluring so And now you can see that we are able to get two inputs. So one is the interact with input and another one that I have 
just changed now right now within this we can of course see different uh, screenshot for this as well so this is your i think chrome or firefox maybe and that is how we have to generate the report but just in case if we have like 100 or 500 of test cases of course we cannot go to each and every file and we cannot change the name so the problem here is in node or javascript based any of the reports if we have multiple files with the same spec names then all those are considered as a single entity not different entity so that is the problem but we also know that if we have like hundred or thousands of test case of course we cannot change each and every file individually right so i'm just going to give a workaround that might help you definitely so very simple trick here i'm just going to delete this and of course i have to delete this command from task well. and if i go back to my code editor i'm just going to add one line of code here within my so in my spec because of this described names it's considering both the result as single result right so i'm just going to add a timestamp here so i can call like date dot now and that's going to fix my problem actually let us see how that's going to help us so if i open this control j and here we can say like So again it's running in two browsers one is the firefox and another one is the chrome and after that if i go back to my folder here we can see that again we got two xml file now let us see the html file as well so if i go and give aluri so Now the problem is fixed here so we can see that we are able to get two um, uh, results for this same test case but here we can see that it appended the timestamp for the both the spec or the test suite right so in this way we can fix this problem to run our test script in um, in parallel and also we can generate the reports so this is just a quick uh, walk around i didn't find any good idea to solve this and i couldn't any find any um, solution proper solution for this as well so i think this is going to work for you for sure thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you have any queries please do let me know in the comments